So this drill is designed to help develop pressure and connection at the start of the stroke. Start by paddling two strokes backwards, moving directly into two forward strokes. During the two-handed catch, maintain downward pressure throughout the shaft. Feel the connection and timing between the catch and the leg drive. Lead the movement through the hips. This drill is designed to help develop pressure and connection at the start of the second stroke. Perform one to two strokes while focusing on the drive through the stroke. Focus on holding posture with elbows down and a connection throughout the whole body. During the two-handed catch, maintain downward pressure throughout the shaft. Feel the connection and timing between the catch and the leg drive. Lead the movement through the hips. This drill can be performed while the kayak is moving or for a more advanced paddler, try performing the drill from a stationary position. This drill is designed to develop control and grip at the start stroke. Starting in the start position, hold and slowly perform the first part of the stroke, then return the blade back to the starting position. Keep the paddle blade submerged throughout the drill. For the two-handed catch, maintain downward pressure through the shaft. Feel the connection and timing between the catch and the leg drive. Feel the pressure and focus on holding the top and bottom hand in the setup position while they resist the backwards movement of the kayak. Lead the movement through the hips and legs. Ensure the driving leg stays down while pulling up with the opposite knee. Maintain a good connection with your footrest and seat. Sit upright, slightly in front of vertical and with a long spine. This drill is an adaptation from the start position hold. Start by taking three slow strokes backwards and then perform the start position hold. Maintain a two-handed catch with pressure through the shaft while resisting against the water as the boat moves backwards. For the two-handed catch, maintain downward pressure through the shaft. Feel the connection and timing between the catch and the leg. Keep your front hand directly in front of the shoulder at shoulder height. The paddle blade should be fully submerged in the water with the paddle angle at 60 degrees. The backhand elbow should be at 90 degrees and the hand around head height. Set the scapula. Shoulder blade should be back and down with elbows pointing towards the water. Hips should be rotated. Ensure the driving leg stays down while pulling up with the opposite knee. Maintain the connection between your footrest and seat. Sit upright, slightly in front of vertical and with a long spine. Engage your lower abdominals and bring your centre of mass lower. Start by placing the paddle into the start position, making sure the blade is buried and square to the boat. This drill will help in developing the start position and ability to transfer force into the first few strokes. The paddle blade should be fully submerged in the water with the paddle angle at 60 degrees. The front hand should be directly in front of the shoulder. The backhand elbow should be at 90 degrees and the hand around head height. While holding the starting position, move your bottom hand out to the side. Return the hand to the paddle shaft, then move your top hand out to the side. Hips should be rotated. Engage your lower abdominals and bring your centre of mass lower. Keep your neck and head relaxed, stationary and in a neutral position. Now try hold the start position without a paddle. Sit upright, slightly in front of vertical and with a long spine. Set the scapula. Shoulder blades should be back and down with elbows pointing towards the water. 
To make this more challenging, try imaginary paddling. Remember to have slow, controlled and purposeful movements. Ensure the driving leg stays down while pulling up with the opposite knee. Maintain a good connection with your footrest and seat.